take a look at this guy this guy is a typical example of uh, what we are going to talk about uh, regarding right brain com miscommunications or misca miscalculations uh, um, many times we, we don't even realize uh, the kinds of problems that the right brain gives us for instance look at the way the man walks look at him he's got his right foot forward and the right hand is forward with that as well his left foot foot is backwards and the left hand so he's walking like a zombie he's walking like a robot that is not how humans walk humans walk uh, with the right hand if the right uh, uh, hand is forward then that means that the left foot is forward if the right hand left hand is backwards then that means the uh, right foot is back with the with the left hand so is the hands are opposite to the feet when humans walk naturally but this is not happening in this case so you can see that this man is totally unsynchronized and because he is unsynchronized he therefore is in, 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 in some kind of trouble he walks very defensively he appears as if he is defending himself against an attack well but there's no imminent attack so he has created the attack mode in his own mind now what does this tell you this tells you that this man has some guilt he is feeling guilty why is he feeling guilty and that's the question that's the problem that they are, that occurs in the right brain the right brain always has some kind of a problem that it tends to defend so we get self-defensive because we feel that someone is coming to get us and so we are always in the mood of protecting ourselves against what now if you are one of those that talk about this uh, conspiracy theory that that's who I'm talking about you are in that self-defensive mode and so you are always coming up with explanations explanations to justify your self-defensive situation what do you think I mean how is uh, some uh, conspiracy gonna affect you whatever the conspiracy is about it's about nothing that affects you so why are you scared why are you worried so observe this this is what our, uh, this our illustration about the right brain is about and so when you behave in that manner where you are constantly in that uh, mode of self-defense and you are creating uh, barriers around yourself you end up developing what we call the bad ego and that's what this man is carrying now eventually the bad ego accumulates 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 because it, have, you, it becomes a daily activity for you and if you don't if you get stuck in it you get stuck with the bad ego then what happens eventually is that you develop a hump on your back now that's what this other guy is, is here the guy with a hump on his back this same guy now he has a hump on his back and he can't even walk straight I mean you've seen people uh, with that kind of uh, um, condition physiological condition so what was once a mental uh, condition with the bad ego the bad ego which was something about the mind now becomes this physiological problem which is a hump on the back he can't walk straight so the man cut himself short he's no longer going to have the, the, the pleasures that he used to have he's now restricted himself and he's in total pain so that's what we are going to do for you you got to come to our uh, brain uh, mystery center you got to come to our, to our lectures here you got to sign up for the lectures to begin to understand uh, what uh, the, how your right brain works I will teach you the numbers that work with the right brain I will show you how you can get away from procrastination with these numbers simple there are no uh, um, other uh, um, complicated uh, systems at all that you are going to go through very simple systems I will give you these numbers that actually generate your own waves 
these numbers generate your own waves you don't need no machines no computers to generate with generate waves in your brain you don't need none of that i will give you the numbers the numbers will generate the waves within your brain and you begin to, un to uh, undo the bad ego the bad ego that eventually gives you the lump on your back is also what gives you the cancers yeah you got your uh, breast cancer that's your bad ego right there you got your prostate cancer that's your bad ego right there you got your heart disease you got your uh, obesity problems you got all of these problems alzheimer's disease is your bad 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 ego come on let's get that off of your head let's get the bad ego off of your head with the simple numbers numbers will take the problem out of you thank you professor momo sign up now for the course